bit about it. For instance, let's say you didn't have enough ring end gap. Let's say this was 12 and this thing, this thing you didn't measure it and it only had like six or seven end gap. So what happens there? Let me grab one of these other rings. What happens there is this ring actually compresses up against the other other side, so it's compressed like that, so it actually locks in the cylinder. And it, it can make it seize, it can break a ring land. Uh, usually it'll seize up in there. And what you're gonna look for on those, if you take a ring, ring out and you look at the old ring and you look at this area right in here, and if it's shiny at all, even a little bit, usually up here at the top portion of it, then the rings have actually been touching each other like that with it running, meaning they've been partially locking up. Bad stuff happens when that happens, really bad stuff. That's the kind of thing where it can lock up while you're cranked over in the corner, uh, lock the rear tire up, and throw you in a piece of Armco or uh, in a ditch somewhere happens now these ring end gaps are going to vary depending